Hola, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use the language learning apps, Hello Talk and Tandem, which I love. These apps have truly changed my life and helped me become fluent in both Italian and Portuguese. So I'll share what I like about them, some of the features, some of the benefits, because I know it can be overwhelming going on a language app for the first time and not understanding what is going on. So I hope to help you with that in today's video. A lot of people tell me they have a hard time actually getting a response from a native English speaker. So also in today's video, I'm gonna give you my five best tips to help you get a response from a native English speaker. I will preface this video and say this is my point of view as an American, as an English speaker, and also as a woman. An American guy would have a different view. People from other countries, they would have different views. But I will give you my point of view and share with you from my experiences. Also, if you met me on Hello Talk or Tandem or found my video from there, please write it in the comments below with where you're from. I really love to hear from you guys. With that being said, I first got on the app Hello Talk after my friend Tom told me about it. He also has a YouTube channel called Wayla Tom where he teaches Italian and English and we even filmed a video together on my channel. So you probably should go check it out after this one. It has amazing language learning tips and secrets. So yeah, I got on the app about three years ago when I started to study Italian and I found it very useful. It's easy to start an account. You can use it for free, but you can only study one language at a time. And I think you have up to 15 free translations a day. I actually paid a one-time fee of $90 because I plan on studying many languages and now I can have unlimited translations, which is so useful. And I can study three languages at a time forever. So if you wanna go and pay it year by year, it's $40. And I think it also could vary on countries as well. One of my favorite things about Hello Talk is the moments wall where you can share photos or ask questions and you can reach more people and interact with them in a community type way. I post in my moments section every day and I always respond to people's comments there. So the way the app works um, is to have a conversation with someone in a private message. So somebody can send you, I think up to five messages, um, and then you need to respond or else they can't send you anymore. So your way of responding is saying, hey, I wanna connect with you too. You can also send videos, photos, and links in the private chat, but only after somebody has responded to you with five messages. So the audio messages have a length of one minute, which can be good or bad depending on how much you like to talk. I do like to talk a lot, but you will get cut off at about a minute. And it's good to know you can do phone calls or video calls with the app. And Hello Talk has the option to mark people to the top of your conversations, the people that you enjoy talking with, or I do it if, if I've even had a good conversation with somebody and I wanna check back in with them later so I don't lose them down in all my other messages. And of course, the greatest thing about the app is correcting other people's mistakes and being corrected. You can even transcribe the voice messages someone sends you in another language, which is so cool because if you're new to learning a language and don't quite get it, you can just transcribe and see what they said to you. So as you can see, I've corrected over 5,000 mistakes for people in their English and I've translated over 6,000 
which is crazy, but I am an active language learner and I know that I love being corrected and I love to help people learn. So it's easy to find people on the app. You can choose to follow them and then you'll receive notifications when they post a new moment, but there is an option to turn that off as well. And with the paid version of the app, you can also see the people that look at your profile, which is kind of interesting. So I see you seeing me, you know? So something I also like about HelloTalk are the options that the app offers. You can put in the age range of the people you want to talk to. If you want just girls to be able to find you, if you're a woman, or you can also hide your online status or even yourself. I have done that in the past because I receive so many messages and so I'll hide myself for a week or a month and then that means no one new will be able to find me and I can focus on the conversations I have with the people I've met. You can also take mini classes on the app, which I've never done, but it's an option. And you can also join a group chat but in my experience, they aren't that active. And so I choose usually to stay with the one-on-one -on -one setting because that's how I learn. That is a lot of information. Okay, it was a lot for me too, but it can be overwhelming to not know what's going on with the app or how it works. So I hoped this helps you out. So let's jump over to Tandem and talk about this app. So I honestly first got on Tandem because I wanted to make this video for my channel. I was like, that would be so interesting. But I actually ended up loving the app. I'm still on the app. I've met some amazing people and Tandem as well is free, but there is the option to pay $20 a year to get the unlimited translations, which is worth it if you're new with learning a language. And something that was strange that I got from Tandem was you will receive a welcome within seven days. And I was like, what? But I got mine in like an hour. And so I filled out and did my account and went to sleep and I woke up and I had 80 new messages all from Brazilians. And I was like, whoa, this app is crazy. There's so many people trying to learn English on this app and other languages. So good job, you guys. On Tandem, you can put up to 10 languages you're trying to learn, which I don't recommend, that's crazy. But you can also post six photos and write about the topics you wanna to talk about. And unlike Hello Talk, Tandem does not have the community wall to post to, but it is so active in the personal chats. And you can also send voice messages for as long as you want, links and photos, but no videos. But you can also do voice and video calls on Tandem, just like Hello Talk. You can use the translate button only three times a day, unless you paid, then it's unlimited. And you can also find personal tutors on the app, but you do have to pay for them and the cost depends on the tutor. A cool thing that Tandem has that HelloTalk doesn't have is leaving references for people. After a bit of a conversation, Tandem gives you the option, how was it to talk to this person? So that is fun. One of the hardest things for me is that I lose people in the chat. There's no way to save them on the top, but you can follow people on there to keep track of them. Once I lost, all my messages on tandem like except for the top 10 i don't know what happened i don't know where the people went but they vanished forever it was really sad and i never got them back i have had success with learning languages on both apps i still use both apps on a regular basis and i have met wonderful people on both apps I actually personally met five Italians from Hello Talk in Italy last year and one Brazilian from Tandem that actually lives here in my city. We met, we filmed a video together in Portuguese. It was so fun. If I had to choose Tandem or Hello Talk, I think it's tough, but I think I would say Hello Talk because of the community wall option. But like I said, 
both apps really are pretty awesome. Okay, you guys, that is a bit about the language apps. And now I wanted to talk about how to actually get natives to respond to you. I don't know what makes others respond. I can't speak for them. I can only speak for what makes me respond, but I think these tips will help you. I have been fortunate enough to never have to initiate or find people to talk to on the apps. I do feel like there is a shortage of Native Americans that speak English that are learning other languages. So I feel like for people looking to talk to native English speakers, you're in a competition. Unfortunately, it's just how it is. So you have to shine, you have to do something different to stand out, to get a response. Because one of the biggest reasons that people don't respond is they just get way too many messages. I could never respond to all the messages I get and I know that's how others are feeling as well. It's not fair, but it's just, how it is. So thank you guys for the people that have reached out to me. I have loved getting to know you. And if you have reached out to me and I haven't responded, I am so sorry. I just don't have the capacity, but try these tips with other people and I hope it helps you. Okay. First, you've got to have a photo. Like it doesn't matter what you look like, but I personally don't want to see an animal or joker or a photo of the beach. I like to see, you know, the beautiful faces of the people I talk to and I'm sure that others do too. So do a photo. It will help create that initial human connection. Okay. So second, don't hit on people on the apps. Download a dating app if you're looking to date. I don't respond to the people that have literally asked me to marry them or date them. I did just to show you that this is actually real. It, it does happen. I receive messages like this, but I typically ignore them. Okay, use Tinder. Third, leave a voice message. I am so much more likely to respond to someone that leaves a voice message out of my own curiosity. What are they saying? So I'm sure other natives will feel the same way. They will most likely at least listen to your message out of curiosity, even if they don't respond. So I highly encourage voice messages. Fourth, if you don't leave a message, but ask an interesting question, you'll be more likely to get a response than just writing hi. Don't just write hi. Don't just write hi, how are you? Think of an engaging question, maybe look at their profile, ask them something about their life. They're going to be more likely to respond. Fifth, be persistent. If someone doesn't respond to you with your first message or your second, try and try again. I know I have actually responded to people on their fifth message. Like, I'm sorry, I've been busy, but hey, how's it going, you know? So these tips, I'm not saying to try them with me, but try them with other natives because I know it can be hard to find a good language partner, someone that you connect with that has time in their schedule to talk to you, but you guys, it's so worth it. It will really help you evolve in your language learning journey. So keep trying. Don't give up. Try out my tips. Write in the comment if they helped you. If you try these language apps or even a better one, also let me know in the comments below. I always love to hear from you. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.